Hello YouTube, this is Jerry D from Tennessee. Um, I want to talk about a couple of stocks today, but first, let's start out with a verse. Joshua 1.8 of the New King James Version of the Bible. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Just wanted to share that with you. Even our Creator wants us to be successful in all that we do. And uh, I hope that everybody's having a prosperous week. I wish you luck in trading. Again, I am not a a financial advisor. I'm not a stock advisor. Uh, I'm just an old man in East Tennessee talking about stocks because I just, I don't know, I guess I have a passion for it. I like stocks and I, I feel you can make money in the stock market if you use your head and play it smart. Um, I will say that if you do trade stocks, you will eventually get in a bad trade because they don't always do what you want them to do, the stocks. Um, don't always behave as what you'd like them to do and just just part of the game so you go into it realizing that and have a plan to cut your losses as quick as you can and you shall be successful because uh, what you want is your your uh, successes to outnumber your uh, your failures on trading um, I shouldn't say failures your losses um, it's beyond your control it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's just no way you can control it. Uh, you just got to look at the uh, indicators on the charts and, and make a calculated decision and know that it's a risk going into it. And hopefully that the trade will go well for you. But that being said, let's move on. Let's talk about what I'm here for. Uh, let's talk about a stock here. <clears throat> DTII, Defense Technologies. International Corp. Defense Technologies, International Corp subsidiary, Passive Security Scan Incorporated, has the exclusive worldwide license to manufacture and distribute passive security scan technology. The company launched its first product, adding the infrared camera to its screen, screening device. The Passive Portal 123 Passive Portal 1 screens for weapons. Passive Portal 2 screens for weapons and elevated body temperatures. <clears throat> EBT System 3 screens for elevated body temperatures only. The Passive Security Scan is a portable scanning security device that uses the Earth's magnetic fields to detect potentially security threats. It is the only product of its kind that uses passive scanning. Traditional detectors use X-ray radiation and imaging. The type of technology can have harmful effects after prolonged repeated exposure. The passive security scan eliminates any exposure to students. When students step through the passive security scan, sensors embed within the aluminum, aluminum frame alert security personnel to the level of the threat. With the color-coded LED lights and an audible buzz, the passive security scan can also be linked with a computer to give a instant view using numbers or colors of the threat area, and which can then be transmitted to a handheld device for ease of use, threat tracking, and neutralizing. Okay, so this is a sensor. A security device. Uh, they had a contract. I believe they had a contract to put in some schools. Um, the idea behind this thing is to detect um, um, detect an active shooter before they become active. Catch the threat as they're bringing the the weapon into the building. It's the whole idea behind this. So, and it also, uh, another part of their technology, they can detect if somebody's running a fever, if they're sick, a student comes into the school and they're sick, uh, like they might have COVID, and we all know about COVID the past year, almost going on two years now, um, so that just seems to be part of our life, you know, uh, we got, um, threats of gun violence, um, and, and it's just it's it's just about being safe, making facilities, public facilities safe, 
uh, government facility safe. So, um, here's their website. So, uh, it's weapons detection using the latest zero radiation passive scanning technology. Here they have a little um, passive security scan, a safe solution for preventing school violence. Will it play? I don't think it's going to play. There'll be something about my sound. Sometimes, but all it is is playing music right now, so the text is telling you all about it. So the whole thing about this And I'll stop that since you can't, yeah, you can't hear him. So uh, I need to get that worked out. I thought I had it worked out, but it's not worked out. So if you want to go view the video, I'm going to have a link in the description of the video for you could, if you will go check his site out. I think this is the future. Uh, one of their, uh, one of their um, customer base is going to be school systems of, um, in larger cities uh, where there's a where there's actually you know a, a possible threat of active shooters kids getting their parents guns bring them into schools uh it it doesn't even have to be a kid it could be a um, um an employee that's got mental problems that's angry a baby they got fired let go uh, this the whole point of this is to keep somebody from coming into a school system and in in shooting up a bunch of people active shooter stuff so and a lot of schools that have a have a county officers i know when mark where i live in my area every school has a county officer a resource officer and uh, they are trained uh, to handle active shooting situations so this is just part of our society now this is this is life as we know it um And and you know this is a, this serves another I mean two two functions at one time, so this is going to detect weapons being brought into a, an area that should not have this this restricted that uh, this weapons are not allowed and really people shouldn't be bringing a gun into a school um, that's just not you know schools government uh, offices. That's, it shouldn't really, you know, it's not necessary to be carrying a gun. If I'm out, I, I, I have a license to conceal carry, and if I'm out, I'll have a gun on me. If I go to the grocery store, if I go to Walmart, I don't keep a gun out in the open to let people know that I have anything on me. But um, the thing is, is if you need it, I mean, you might, you might save somebody's life, but... Um, this being said, if you have concealed carry license, that should be your very last resort. You have no option but to use the gun. Either you or somebody else's life is at risk, and that's the only way to save them is to use the gun. And if I, at all possible, the best scenario is not to use a gun. Okay, walk away from the situation, talk it out, defuse it any way you can, that's the best solution to anything like that. But, unfortunately, it doesn't always end up like that. As everybody that's, anybody watching this video knows, is we have a lot of situations in the news where we have situations where there's active shooters, and this is to detect the weapons. Uh, it could be somebody, if, it, if one of these things goes off, don't look at it as a threat. It could be somebody who had a concealed carry license. They had their gun on. They forgot they were carrying it, and they walked in the building. And the best thing, if you are that person, 
the best thing is to say, I'm sorry, here's my concealed carry license. I forgot I had the gun on me. I'll go back out and I'll lock it up in the car. And I have a lock box. I have a gun box in the car. I'll lock it up and then I'll be back. And I'll go through again and you can scan me again. And that's the way to handle the situation. Don't be defensive about it. This is just trying to keep kids safe. Uh, if it's in an office building, a government office building, it's trying to keep employees safe. That's all it is. It's just a sign of the times. And, you know, it's unfortunately some people that don't need to have a gun end up with a gun on their person. And, you know, um, especially if they have some kind of chemical imbalance and they have no clue that they shouldn't have a gun. <laughs> so um, it's unfortunate you have to have this kind of uh, detection. I, I expect this thing may be used in airports. I mean, there's already that kind of system set up at airports. But uh, I'd say they're going to tar target different industries, different customers. And uh, as this grows, uh, I expect the stock will grow as well. <clears throat> so that being said, let's get off of this, this and let's move on. Defense Industries International Corp. Passive Portal at East Carolina University. So uh, they're using it at this university. They're releasing news. And, um, you know, it's, they're moving on with this product. This product, um, this was released yesterday, uh, September 28th, 2021 was when this story came out. It's actually the date was right here. So this university is using this to try to keep, well, the purpose is to keep students safe. Uh, I work at it on the campus on a at a university and uh even with a concealed carried license we are restricted if we go into a student center if we go into um um a basketball arena or a football stadium we are not to have a weapon on us they were restricted not to. Well, we have a campus police station. We have campus police force to take care of threats. So, and um, I respect the university for having that um, restriction. I, I do not. Um, I do not feel intimidated in the least bit about it. There, there may I get what they want to do. Their, their purpose is to keep the students safe, and an educational environment is not a place to have a weapon. It's you should not even need a weapon in on on a campus used for education, uh, even if it's if it's young school kids, elementary school kids, or if it's uh, you know college. Any any educational environment, you should not need to have a gun on there. It is for educational. It's a it is a um, it is a um, location for education for teaching people. So. Um, it's unfortunate again, but that is this technology that this company is selling right now. This stock is under two cents a share. And as this, as this company gets more and more known in the industry, as they sell more and more of their product, I expect to see this stock to go up. I've been in this stock for a while. It's had, it's had a couple of spikes. Since it's been out, I mean, this first initial offering, it, it really spiked, and then it dropped, and it's been pretty steady for a while, but I have a feeling over time, this stock, it's been choppy up and down. I have a feeling this stock, as, as more and more product comes out and they become well-known as a company, over time, I feel like this stock will be go somewhere. I have a small position. Again, I say trade scared. Don't invest any money that you can't afford to lose. At less less than two cents, that's a cheap investment. If over time, a year, two years, three years, four years, you hold this long and this price goes up, it's already on the day it was up 19%. So, and I've been in, I've been in this stock for over a year. So I've been watching this for a while. Um, it's just not went, it's been up and down. It's been choppy. Be, to be truthful about it, it's been up and down. 
we had a we had one spike back here in uh February 21 and and then it went down and there's not really been a whole lot of news come out of and they're starting to release news. I think they're going to start uh releasing public uh public releases for um what they're doing and um I think that's one of the releases the one I just showed you is um the start as they release more news this company is going to be um it's going to take off i think over time so over two months ago they had uh, several releases there's three months so the past past three months they've been releasing news so I think I I think it has a lot of potential. The, like I said, it's a cheap stock to get into if you want to get into the OTC market. I think this is a stable stock, as it's not it's not got your real high spikes and lows, and it's been pretty steady in price. And I think it's going to start a steady climb up. I think it's going to have a steady climb up over time. So what's up on the month? If you if you had bought into it earlier in the month, you'd be green right now. So I just I want to bring it to your attention. I really believe that this is um this is this is a real company. They have a real product that that has a real need in our um in our society, and I think this stock will do well over time. So let's move on to another stock. Aurea Mining Corp. Aurea Mining Corp is engaged in ex exploration and development of mineral properties. It explores gold properties located in French Guiana. So, they had a news release. Well, first let's talk about the stock price. Right now, it still is 20 cents. It has, within the past... Four years, it has been up 70, 80 cents. I believe, if you, as you can see the pattern, it'll spike and then it'll come down for a while. Then it'll spike again, come down for a while. I think it's time for another spike to happen on this stock. And it's been up 80 cents. A dollar so right now it's 20 cents if it goes up to 50 cents right now you'll double your money if it goes up to 60 cents you can triple your money on this stock so um let's move on to the story they released aurea provides an update on acquisition of gold project in suriname Sur suriname Vancouver, British Columbia. This is a Canadian company. Uh, they were pleased to provide an update on the acquisition of a new gold project located in Suramane, South America. As announced on July 6, 2021, Aria signed a binding team term sheet to acquire up to a 75% interest in an advanced stage gold exploration project. The project loaded, located in Suramine, South America, with its due diligence near completion, Aria is in the process of entering into the corresponding formal option agreement. Upon execution of the FOA and receipt of regulatory approvals, Aria intends to swiftly commence exploration activities on the project. The project cons consists of rights to exploration of gold, ceramine mining licenses covering 200 square kilometers within an un under explored segment of the Guiana Shield Greenstone Belts. The alluvial and shallow open pit gold mining has been active on the project in over the last three decades. Aria's immediate objective is to drill, define gold resources along the immediate depth and the lateral extensions of the mined ores. 
So <clears throat> they originally announced this back in July, and they're moving forward with this. September, they released September 29th. Today, they released this uh, story. So I believe as they, as they uh, release news that they are indeed fixing to start mining the gold, and then they start talking about they are uh, mining gold and taking mine gold ore out of the area, this stock will go up. I believe this stock will do something. And again, this stock is very, very, very low price. 20 cents today. It was up 8%, 8.83%. 8 at the end of the close of the day. And as you can see, it's got a pattern of spikes. And I believe as soon as they release news that they've, they've uh, started mining the gold, extracting gold ore, that this price will go up again. I do. I really, I really believe that. So, and, and the price is kind of been choppy but it's staying you know pretty you know steady in certain areas it's not fluctuate fluctuating a whole lot it's not like going straight up and then straight down i mean it, it, it did it spiked here but when it settles down it stays pretty stable it gets a little choppy but it doesn't it doesn't have a whole lot of movement it's moving a few dollars at a time, or actually a few cents, I'm sorry, a few cents at a time. It's, so it's not moving a whole lot in price, and I do believe it's going to go up. And it, I expect it, once they, once they release news that they are actually extracting the ore, I believe it will go up in price and it will hold its price. I really do. I really, I really think this will go somewhere. Um... But we'll see. It, it depends on who's interested in the stock. It depends on the investors investing in the stock, and um, and what they, you know, how interested they are, and and what they do in the trades. Because it's the it's the investors that that determine the price of the stock, what they're willing to pay for the stock. I, you know, you talk about fundamentals, but. If you've been watching GameStop and uh, American Cinema Cinema stock, um, Wall Street Bets has proved the fundamentals and everything. It's really, it's really the investors. The guys on Wall Street Bets on Reddit have have built so much hype on those two stickers, GME or GameStop and um, and AMC American Cinema that the price is spiked above what the prices of the stocks are normally at and they're holding they're holding a really decent high on the stocks and they're they're fluctuating daily where you can be you can be selling selling on the highs and when it dips buying back in and it, and it goes up in a few days you know you buy in the dips and it goes up in a few days and you can sell again. And people's buying in the dips and selling in the... I believe that's what's going on. Now, people claiming it's going to... These stocks are going to go up to $1,000 a share. I think the SEC's got it under control with all the hype and all the media attention. I think they've got it worked out. And the, um, the market makers are... Uh, they're still they're still controlling the price. I think I think it is what it is. I don't think you can truly control the price, but again, I do believe it's proof. I don't think that the I don't feel like the stock the realistic price for these stocks are going to be a thousand dollars a share. I could be wrong. Maybe in the next 10, 15 years they may go at that that high, but not not. Not that quick. I don't think it's going to be that quick. I think you're going to have to hold those two stocks. But, again, my point is the investors that's buying into the stocks, buying and selling the stocks, are determining the price. When you buy that stock, you're saying, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you 20 cents a share for that stock, or I'll give you 60 cents a share, of, or I'll give you $50 a share for that price. It's what you're willing to pay to get into the stock. That's what sets that price for the day. And then if you drop that price, if you're at 60 cents and you drop it at 50, and you sell your shares at 50 cents or $50, 
a share, you just drop that price stock to $50. Think about that. If you always, if you always stick on the, the ask, the stock will always go up and it won't come back down. And that's, that's the whole point the Wall Street bet guys have been trying to make. It's, it's the investors that can control the stock price. Now, people shorten the stock. They, they're dropping the price off their short sales. So, so, you know, there's several things that are manipulating the prices. But anyway, the thing is, my whole point is the investor will determine when people start buying into this, if this, once they release news, if people go crazy over, oh, this is a gold, th these guys are mining gold, this is a gold stock. And, um, you know, it, more and more people get to know this company as, as it becomes more well known. And they keep, if they keep releasing press releases talking about the mining operation and the progress, that will generate the attention to this stock and can potentially generate new investors to buy into this stock and cause the price to go up over time. And I do feel like this stock can go somewhere. It's at a cheap price. If it goes up, I'll be happy if it goes up to 60 cents. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, like I said, if you're, buying it, if you're buying it right now at 19 cents or 20 cents and it goes up to 60, you've tripled your money. And that's a cheap that's a cheap price to get into a stock. That's a good payday. And like I said, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Your bank account is not going to give you that kind of interest on your money. <laughs> but uh yeah, I think I think this will graduate. Will it go up real fast? I don't know. You might see a jump like this on news that they're extracting ore. And it, I'd like to see it stay once it goes up. I'd like to see it stay steady and stair step up. But again, time will tell. Again, you won't know till people start buying into the stock and investors start hitting this ticker. So this is just a couple of stocks I'm interested in. I wanted to make this quick video and tell you guys about it. The price is cheap. One's 20 cents a share. And what was the other one? The other one is less, less than two cents a share. And look at that. Uh, I think I think both both have great potential. I think they're going places. Um, they're they're releasing press releases to keep investors in in um, informed on what's going on with the companies. So they're being transparent. They're both. If you go out to OTC, they're both. They're o OTC Pink. And actually, I read something about this penny stock exempt. This is not considered a penny stock, and I really don't understand that. I'm in the stock, but I don't understand why, unless it's because the price has really been up there at one time. And and maybe, but maybe that the, the pros out there in the stock market uh, consider that this stock has potential to go up above a penny and be on the NASDAQ, so... Uh, that's the interesting thing that they are penny stock. This security is not a penny stock as defined in SEC Rule 243A51-1. I don't understand that, so I can't explain what that means, but be aware that this is not considered penny stock. I saw that it looked like it was trading after hours, but E-Trade would not let me trade after hours. <laughs> So, following probably E Trade considers it in the penny stock stock realm. It's OTC. It's o, it's in the OTC QX, but it's not considered. It's penny stock exempt. So maybe they expect it to be over a dollar before long. I hope so. I like to see it be over a dollar. Uh, I like. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Time only time will tell. Again, be cautious with your trading. I invite you. I'm gonna leave the links down in the um, description below the video for you to go check them out yourself. Do your own research. Put you a watch on this stock and see what it's doing. Um, again, they're cheap stocks to get into if, you, if you're if you on a budget, but you want to get into trading some stocks. 
and this could be in about a year, six months to a year, we may have news and that price has potential to go up. It's already up uh, 8% today on this on this news release. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for coming by and checking out my video. Um, I'd love for you to come see me in the next video. If you're not a subscriber, uh, I invite you to press the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, click that notifi notification bell, and you'll be notified when uh, I release a new video. And um, if you click that like button, this information will be pushed out for more YouTubers to see that's interested in stocks. There's an algorithm, and people that watch stock videos, this will get pushed out to those people that's watching these stock channels. So... Anyway, I hope you have a good night. I hope you're having a profitable week. Please be cautious in your trading. I want y'all to, to uh, make a profit. Let's trade as a group and make a profit with these stocks. Let's trade smart, trade scared. Do not invest anything you can't afford to lose. And uh, just watch the indicators and see what the stock's going as far as the MSI, let's see, the MACD, RSI, the volume weighted average, and the stock price, and see what where the price is going as you trade in the stocks. But uh, anyway, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you have a good night, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Hey, thanks for coming by. Um, glad you checked out the video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please click on the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, may God bless you, and I hope you have a good day. And bye. Bella's got to be right up under me, don't you, Bella? Oh my word! Cloudy day. Looks like it may rain. clouds out over the valley the East Tennessee Valley and Bella she's just happy to be around <laughs>